This is his first time ever seeing FPV, and he's watching Bubby fly right now. Oh my god. Why am I flipped upside? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> On the right yeah, the props are on right. <laughs> yeah, you need video. Like, like. Okay, so listen up. This is how it works. You got these goggles. You can't actually fly FPV without them. You have to go. Long. So you guys might be uh, seeing my quad and like, what motor does Bobby have on here? I'm flying the Peta VEX motor. I'm slowly making the transition to 6S on a lightweight build. And I've been wanting to try a lot of different 6S motors. So this one's really cool because it's a 2306.5, 1985 KV. And I know James put a lot of thought into this. I, I don't know where he is. I wish he was here so, like, so we could talk about it, but. Oh, this motor right here? Yeah. This 6S 1985 KV, 2306.5. Why you choose those specs? That's the year I was born. Is it actually? Yeah. Dang, you're old, bro. Exactly. <laughs> I want everyone to know I'm an old man. <laughs> the specs are pretty similar to the motor I was flying, which is the T-Motor F40. Okay. But yeah, I like the little bit extra height on the stator. Okay. Like, it gives you a nice mix of like the feel of a 2306 and a 2207. Nice. What a lot of people like about 2207 is just like that raw power that you get. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, sure. when you're higher in the throttle, you can really punch it and get that still. Mm -hmm. But when you're low in the throttle, which is where I usually hang out, um, it's like nice and smooth. So if you check, on the top of the bell, right, these tiny little nubbins are actually little spikes, mm -hmm. and these are excellent for prop grip. Trying to use all the premium parts, you know, so we got like a single strand whining that's gonna be more heat resistant. It's nice. got that nice heat resistant coating on it. Just simple design with like six spokes, nothing crazy. The base has an interesting feature where the side of each hole where the mm -hmm. screw comes out, there's a little cut out so ah, you can actually yeah. see the screw as it starts to come through. Nice. The problem with a lot of other motors mm -hmm. and their bases is Sometimes you'll have like a short motor screw and you can't really tell yeah. when it starts to approach about. the top. You get that confidence that your screw is actually going nice. up and not contacting things like your windings. Super durable, super nice performance, what you want. Motor. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a, it's it's everything a, James wants in a motor. It's a premium motor. Mm -hmm. Available at rollout.com. There's a bug. <laughs> it's, I mean, I'm just testing 6S because little little sneak peek, I am working on my own motor and it will be 6S and 8S capable. So yeah, I didn't come prepared with anything. So I just put these on and I'm going to go awesome, get my man. GUI and set up and it's going to rip.
I just got my first pack just cruising around. J James, your motor, like the low end, it's so like mushy. Yeah, that's yeah. it's very different, very different than anything I flow. This, there's, there's just, all, it's the same. There's nothing here. I and, well, say, and I wonder how so much different. of this is like success too, right? Like high KV success isn't something you've been flying either. Um, I mean, off the record, I have been flying it a bit. Well, I wouldn't call those high KV though. Like 1850, what? that's that's average. I've been KV. flying. Um, oh yeah, I guess. It's, but the quad that I was flying was super light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's different. It's different. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm gonna get some more packs on it and try to like, cause I think what I'm gonna end up doing is using more higher throttle. Exactly. You're gonna be like going so fast. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some more packs up. Peter Vex motors, huh? It, like if you want, if you want punch, you gotta blip the throttle. And that's what I do is lots of little blips. Like I'm, I'm on throttle, very short periods. I see why you fly the way you do, dude. Yeah, it I, does. It doesn't really suit your style as much. Like I can see even like when you were coming up here, like I would have lifted a little right before I went over the top. Yep. And it gives you that extra edge and a little bit of float is what I, cause there's, when you go inverted, there's like different ways of doing it. Some people like to be on throttle where it like the, the quad has some power to it still, but it, it, that tends to send the quad downward a little bit cause it's got that, that you know, downward authority. The way I like to do stuff is like I'll, I'll blip the throttle and like huck it backwards and then go off throttle and then it just coasts through the air. Um, it's not as like smooth. You get like a weird kind of like jerk right before, but it's almost like a popping and locking, you know, kind of motion. I think that's how like a lot of juicy pilots get their, that juicy look. Ooh. I will say it's weird not having that low end control. If you watch my sticks when I fly, I hardly ever go above 50% throttle. And when I do, it's just those short little blips. Yeah. So it helps to have the throttle like feel the way it does, where it's mm -hmm. kind of and soft and kind of like cushy. Definitely. And then just like violent at the top and just like will just send you. Hi Peter, so what's your setup? Alright, so my setup, I'm rolling with the old school Apex uh, Impulse RC frame. Been loving it ever since I got into the hobby two years ago. Nice. I fly Kiss Ultra FC, mm -hmm. also Fatec FC. The ESCs I run are usually the uh, Fatec 45 amps. I run most of those on my rigs, but on this one, I do have the Fox here uh, Reaper. Nice. Which have, have you felt solid. any difference? Or? Actually, which one did you like I mean, more people, some people probably hate me for the, because of this, but I do like how Fatec feels a lot better. Yeah, it feels a little bit more locked in on me when I fly with the Kiss Ultra FC and uh, the nice. Fatec 45 amp. It's been awesome for me. DJI 03 air unit. I have been flying the V2 Vistas and the uh, air unit, old school air unit for a while. Nice. But the 03 is just that. That quality, quality is just, is, mm -hmm. it's it's just peachy. Yeah. And then uh, what do we got here? So my receiver, I fly usually a flight tracer, but on this rig, I'm trying out ELRS, giving that a try. People have been telling me to give it a go. Have so. you had any issues with it yet? Not yet. No fail safes or nothing. So and the penetration's been nice. So nice. Mm, nothing at all. Yep. Um, as far as uh, props I fly, I always fly the S3 props, Mango props, uh, HQ props for me are the best. HQ. Always, HQ baby. T Motor Motors. I fly uh, F60. 1750 kV props. Nice. nice. Uh, I love the 1750 kV. I love that low kV. It gives me nice throttle yeah. resolution and all. Nice. I'm still stuck with the old school Session 5s. So I do, and everybody's Dude, been telling me to go with I think GoPro. Session 5 is great. If I could it's, get them, I'd be flying them. It's awesome, yeah. Yeah. Offer up. Offer up. <laughs> Offer up. Nice. <laughs> and then I uh, see with the batteries, I usually fly the 1300 GNPs. These been nice. They like they have like a 175 gram weight to them. Oh, nice. And for a that's 1300, light. yeah. For 1300. For 6s, yeah, that's 6S, really good. Yeah, so we got to rock the camera buddies. Bro. You know, camera buddies are just. Mac Tech is a man. He makes the best stuff. Really you know? does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the bus, the bus. I haven't tried that. Have you tried the Camera Butter ODs on the? ODs oh, I've tried the... every. I have all the Camera Butter products. Okay. I yeah. am the biggest fan of Camera Butter, and I say they're, that they're so face. amazing. They're, yeah, they're I'm so the amazing. Biggest, yeah, 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 I love them. I'm rolling with the best. So there we go. Sick, man. So I, I see. I've seen you do a lot of these like really fast, 
flips and stuff like in the same space what's your rates look my like? rates yeah my rates are a little higher than most uh 1100s 1100 yeah 1100 yeah that's why my flipping flopping did, like, did you st like start high and then go down to 1100 like what, what no i could i started at that you yeah, started, I at, started that. at that and then i just had to tweak my expo and everything else so, so what's your curve at is it like pretty linear or you got no it's not linear at all so i got a pretty nice little curve so i'm at 2.24 my expo nice it's not bad so you got a good like little mushy like in the center and then you go bam and yeah at the end you know yep 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 and a high sensitivity so sometimes you'll see me like a little twitch it's just part of me or my nervousness so i mean i'm excited to see you rip the spot i bet we could we could probably power loop do it he could probably power loop do it with me right now with the momentum holding on there you do it slow enough and smooth enough do it right now let's do it guys This spot is so good. This is like totally my jam. It's got all the stuff I kind of like. It, except for like it needs a good trippy something, you know, like a big pole. What is this like Team Vanover today? <laughs> Love it. Isn't this the Vanover channel? Right? It, I pretty thought. much. I mean, sometimes it feels that oh, way. I my Vanover shirt. Yeah. Love it. I didn't come prepared. <laughs> What's up, Gene? Yo, yo. Hey, I'm no. not allowed to be in the shop because I didn't wear the shirt. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> a few minutes later. Let me fly. It's a tiny, right? tiny thing like that, dude. <laughs> Never in my life. I'm like, not in person. It's blowing my mind right now. It just flew through James's mind. I know, but it's, it's blowing my mind like how quickly you can go through something so tight. Dude, that footage, that DVR has got to go in the episode. That was sick. Everyone else is flying their five inch quads out here. Um, I didn't get my five inch quads fixed in time, so I decided to fly the Vision 40. I'm gonna brag about this real quick just because everyone says that tiny whoops are only good for indoors and whatnot, but this thing actually rips and you're gonna see that in the footage right now. So. Gene is here, and I'm gonna prank him. I'm gonna fly right into his, uh... Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh man, it kind of does hurt! <laughs> Alex, why did you do that? It's like a speed. Why did you do that? Get the power loop. Woo! That was a good one. Woo! Alex, <laughs> oh, a, a trippy spinner song. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's like from the moon. Almost, almost. Almost. Let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Like so many lights. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be cooler than this. What's happening right now, Bubby? I feel like I'm getting some really good clips. I, I'm feeling really good about what I'm getting. Maybe I'll watch it back and be like, oh, that sucked. We've been ripping here for a couple hours, and honestly, right when I you know, started flying, I was like, oh, I'm not feeling it. But right now, the lighting outside is beautiful. You know, the people left were finally got some good packs in, and it, I'm really feeling it. James is flying right now, like he's just in the flow. Like, look at him.